Hey y'all, it's Kathy Bo. I'm your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I'm bringing something different tonight. This is a wreath that I'm making. And I've done, of course, most of it. But I left a good bit to show you guys how to do this. Um, what I'm going to do now, I've done the front, so I just want to do enough on the edges where it just kind of, you know, fills in a bit. I want it to hang neatly on the door. And this is, this is the hanger here. So it's going to hang with the, with the snowflake right in the middle. Now what I'm wondering about is this um, paper that I would like to use. And thinking about using this with just a little of the silver showing. So let's try that and see if, see if I like it. Um, and I'm going to tell you everything about how to make this. You're going to need a um, one of those. Oh, come on now. It's not really as fragile as I'm making it, but I'm just, I don't want to mess it up. Um, I'll have to see how big this is. I've got several others over there, and I'll look at it and see. But it looks to me, well, shoot, I can do it right here. It is, let's see. This thing is, that's six inches there. So I'd say seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe 11 or 12. I'd say that's a 12 inch wreath because maybe they do it from outside to outside. Let me check that real quick. Okay. Yes, it is a 12 inch wreath. Let's see if you can see this. Yeah. It says 12 inch ex extruded ring white. All right. I would expect I probably got this from, oh, probably Michael's or maybe even Walmart. I've had them for so long and I do not go to Walmart anymore because I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up on their People of Walmart page because I'm almost 60 and I wear leggings. But anyway, <laughs> I got a bunch of these with this kind of thing in mind. I made one a while back for school teachers and um, I sold it for like $40. It was crazy. But all it is are strips that are um, put in little circles and stuck down into the wreath. So I'm gonna show you, this is a strip, like I was talking about, and I'm getting ahead of myself here. I was gonna try that little banner, but we're gonna do this first. Okay, I'm using these little um, floral pins. And let me tell you about these. Again, I bought these at the same place. Now, I would like to say that these come in different lengths because I could have used a shorter pen than this. Um, I kept having to be very careful that it didn't stick all the way through because it's, it's thicker than the um, thickness of the wreath, the foam wreath. But I see they come by weight, not so much by size, but of course when I bought these I wasn't looking at the length. Um, this does say Hobby Lobby and the, the tags... Um, well, this came off of the other one. Anyway, these came from Hobby Lobby, so it's probable that my wreath did too. Anyway, so I would like a shorter one, and when I shop next time, um, I only have like a billion of these to use before I need to go buy more, <laughs> right? So anyway, just wanted to give you a little hint there. If you can get shorter ones, get shorter ones. Okay, so this paper here is... It's not stamping up, but that's just because I have quite a bit of paper that I want to use for different projects. And I just thought it'd be cute, since my grandchildren live with us, to do something a little funky for the door. 
This is um, from K and Company designer, <coughs> excuse me, designer paper, and it's old. You probably won't find this again. This is called Secret Santa. It's a 12 by 12 designer paper pad. Uh, the code on it is 30-248991, just in case you fell in love with this and you, you need it in order to live a normal life. I'll show it to you real quick. Oh, that is so cute. I don't even think I saw that. Um, I don't know if you can find this again. I've had it, I'd say, at least three years. But it's very um, Whoville, isn't it? It looks kind of like, um, what's that song? Wow, wow, something like that. Whoville, I don't know. Anyway, so I just cut a bunch of strips. Maybe they're an inch wide. I don't know. I just cut them. Let's see. Um, yeah, they're an inch wide. You do them whatever, whatever size you want them to be. And what we're going to do is take this one. I want this to be my outside. So I'm going to make a very tiny roll. And it's going to be kind of wonky. And then another roll. And then a third roll. Now, I'm making sure that this and this overlap. Okay? And I left my, I think I left my little punch. No, here he is. Okay, good. I'm using a small punch. This has got um, just the little, can you see that? The little um, puncher thingy. It's not the big hole. And I'm just going to put a little hole there. It just makes life a whole lot easier while you're trying to put these things in. And I'm going to run this through one hole. The one hole. Okay? So you see? Alright. And then I'm going to take it and I'm just going to... I hope this is not too close. I can't tell because I'm sitting down. But I'm just going to try and go like this with it. That is all you do. And then you just fill it in. So I will be, over time, I'll be filling all this in. But that's all you got to do. We'll do one more. Um, this is cute. It's got little Santa boots on it. Okay, we're going to go a little wonky on the first one. And it's got to be kind of small on that first one. And the next one, and then the last one, it can go all the way over here if you want it. You know, just some kind of curly looking, almost like it wasn't planned to, to be curled that way. It just kind of fell into a curl. That way it's not perfect, and it's fun. And come on, man. Ow. I don't know if you can see my pajama top, but anyway, I got kitty cats on it. I work in my pajamas. I come from a long line of corporate America workers, and I worked for Coca-Cola and Pepsi-Cola, and I had to wear control top pantyhose and dresses and heels, and um, I don't do that anymore. I work in my pajamas. Okay, we're going to stick him right here, and I'm being careful with the rest of my wreath, and you see how nicely that fills in? And I'll just keep going along. And I'm going to, you know, pretend it's laying against the door. You know, I don't want it, I don't want these parts to stick out too far. So that's as far as I'll go there. Because I want it to hang nicely against the door. Okay. These little guys, they're just pieces of um, ribbon. This is a wire ribbon that just kind of matches the funkiness of this whole project. Get that out of the way. It just matches a little bit. And all I did was cut maybe three inch pieces. And I used my hot glue gun and I stuck it down in there. And then I stuck the piece in there and I just kind of curled it. Okay. And then these pieces, same thing. It's just a it's just a piece of um uh tinsel, actually. And I, it was on a roll. I don't even know where I got it, how long I've had it. It's just been in my little... I have the Christmas box 
for things like this so that, you know, in June, July, August, September, whatever, this year it was September, I can start making Christmas things. And I just open up the box and it's got things like this from the dollar store. And yeah, this came from the dollar store, no biggie. But again, all of my supplies on this are a little dated, um, but you'll find things very similar if, if you go look. And you may even find, hang on, sorry for that. You may even find um, some other colors that you prefer. Okay, so now that you know how to put this together, and it's all hot glued except the paper pieces, they're, they're stuck in with pins. This is hot glue, um, and the tinsels are hot glue, all right? So now I cut this banner, and I, um, mm, I guess we're embossed. No, it's not embossed, it's um, scored. I scored the edges, and they're not perfect, but that's okay. So I'm going to see if I actually want that to be my banner. So we're going to take this and this paper here, because I thought it was kind of cute. But once I get it on there, I may decide it's just too much. So what I'm going to do here is measure the from this line to this line, all right? So I'm putting this line here. Let me get my my little pointer ruser. I'm putting, I hope you can see this. I'm putting this line here, lined up there, and now I'm going to look at this line. And it's about two and a sixteenth, or exactly two. I'm gonna do two inches. All right, uh, two inches by two inches by. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do twelve. So I know this is already twelve inches because it's a twelve by twelve paper pad. I'm gonna cut off this edge here and get rid of that. So now I know we're looking at twelve by twelve. And I'm going to do two inches, so I'm going to, come on now, I'm going to bring it all the way to here and put it on two, and I'm making sure it's all the way here, it's on two, and then I go zing, okay? Alrighty then, and hey, if we don't like this side, if it's too busy, I'll flip it over to that side, like this. Or we'll do like this. That's so stinking cute. And the reason I used the silver was because silver is the accent color here. So if, what I'm thinking of doing is um, probably on my silhouette, I'm going to put vinyl letters, Merry Christmas, um, just, you know, across here, or just put Ho, Ho, Ho. Maybe I'll put Ho, Ho, Ho. I don't know. My grandchildren do not uh, do Santa. And um, that makes me a little sad every year, but that's the way it is. And I respect what their parents want, so we don't do a whole lot of Santa. But I can get away with some ho-ho-ho, I think. All right, so right now, I want to cut the fishtail part. Okay, so I'm laying it down evenly, as evenly as I can. Okay, and I'm going to go... Mark here and mark there. And I'm doing the same thing to the other side. Line them up. And I'm gonna go mark here and mark there. All right, I'm gonna make sure we're still recording and we are, good, okay. So, I'm going to cut just inside of this. And I'm doing it on the pink side because just in case, I want to use the pink side once we get it all looking at it and seeing if we like it. Really and truly, the best way to do that is to just go snip and then go like 
this. And actually this corner should be a little bit more of a corner. There we go, I got a little ink here I gotta get off. Okay, so now we have our little banner thing. And we'll just take it for a test drive, okay? We'll just pretend this is hanging on the door and it's just cute as a button. And we're gonna have the banner and we put this on it. I gotta stand up and look at it. What do y'all think? I mean, I know you can't tell me right now because I'm just making the video. And see, you can also kind of bend your banner up. Oh, I totally prefer this. It brings all that pink out. I like that. And this kind of brings the darker colors out. So I think I'm going to go with this, guys. Okay, that's that's a plan. All right. I thought I was going to use my, um, my glue gun so it's all hot and ready over here, but I'm not. Not going to use it. Um... Stampin' Up! had this um, Fast Fuse, and we don't carry it anymore, but I'll tell you what. It is the bomb diggity. Um, but Tombow makes one similar. The trick is, is you got to, you got to drag it and then check it off, kind of like that, to make sure that it, that it, um disconnects from the thingy. Oh, please fit, because I cut you to fit. Come on now. You don't get many chances with, um, with that type of adhesive. Okay, so we got a little bit of extra coming out right here, so I'm going to use my creative um, license here and just go. You are so out of here. Mr. Piece of Silver. Sorry. There we go. Okay. So I kind of like to to bend my little banners where they look a little more festive. But I see this paper wants to crack a little bit, so I don't want to get too crazy. But I do. I do like this. Can you see how it's going to hang? Maybe I'll put the banner like this. I think so. I think I'll just put it from one corner to another. Maybe it needs to be at the top or down the side. I like it down the side. Okay, decision made. See, this is how quick and easy I do things. It's just like, here we go. I'm not going to think about this a whole lot because if y'all knock on my door at Christmas, you're just going to see this cute little banner. Y'all aren't going to be going like, oh my goodness, what in the world? Why didn't she put it two inches over? Mm -mm. Nobody's going to care. And I'm not going to care because it's too stinking cute. Okay, so there we go. So now the decision is definitely to put ho, ho, ho on here. Or I could just put welcome or something like that. But it's going to hang like this. Isn't that cute? I hope y'all enjoyed this, and if you have any questions, just feel free to um, to reach me at Kathy Bohan at yahoo.com. It's K-A-T-H-Y-B-O-H-A-N at Yahoo. Y'all have a blessed evening. Toodles, thank you for coming.